Okay guys, here we are at a Genitrol. It's a GMC outdoor unit, basically Goodman. Goodman Air Hammer back from 1987. She's an old stinker. Here's our drain. They thought the drain was getting backed up, so I blew the drain out. Put a little union in so we can undo it and blow it out a little bit easier. Uh, it, it runs a little uphill in the crawl space, uh, but it does drain. I'm not convinced that the drain was the issue here. It might have been the actual charge of the unit because we put refrigerant in this unit about three years ago and I haven't seen it since besides it changed the blower motor. There's my gloves to block off some of the cracks in the air handler. <laughs> so we're going to take a look at stuff. Well, I cleaned the coil a little bit in place and it is not in good shape. Not at all. Uh, it was a little dirty. I sprayed it down with some of the foaming cleaner. But, I mean... It's sort of just get whatever you can get out of that. But, go take a look outside. Before we go outside, we can see that our wet bulb temperature is 66. It's been bounding between 65 and 66, so we'll keep that in mind when we're doing our target superheat. Okay, we have our Goodman unit here, our GMC. Voila. Of which the fan is running at normal speed. We have a suction pressure around 65. Head pressure 196. Outside today, it's we're in the low mid 80s. Inside our rumble for 65, so we can sort of assume that our 64.8 is too low, and then we might be lacking charge. We have a 30 degree superheat, and more than likely our superheat's going to be a little bit less than that, but not a whole lot. So let's figure it out. All right, we have my phone out here, and we're going to figure up our superheat. So we're going to go with the wet bulb, which is we're going to go with 65 because by the time we're done. It's going to be 65 or a little bit less. Multiply that by 3, and we get 195. So we have 195, and we're going to subtract. Oh, sorry. Subtract 80, which is the constant, and then subtract 85, which is our temperature outside, and we get 30. And then we're going to divide by 2. To get our target superheat of 15. And that's how I do it. You guys can comment and see what you think of that. Uh, but it says we need 15, we got 30, so obviously we're lacking a little bit of the charge area. Uh, the airflow situation should be more deficient than excess, so we're probably lacking a little bit more than that even indicates uh, because a deficient airflow will lower the superheat anyway. So we're going to go ahead and put some charge in here, lower it down to 15, maybe couple degrees less than 15. Alright guys, we've added 8 ounces of refrigerant. The superheat is in range of our original estimate. The wet bulb has actually dropped to 63, so it actually be a few degrees less of superheat, so we're right on target there. Uh, the pressure is a little bit lower than where I think it should be. That's because the airflow is low because of the coil in its condition. And just in general, the ductwork is very old and disgusting. So the pressure is high enough where it will prevent freezing in most conditions, but still it's not quite where it should be. I'm going to go inside and take a quick pass of the evaporator uh, with the H10 and see if it rings off. And then we are about done doing Alright, the bloodhound here is in the ready position. Thank you, Mr. Ralph. And I am going to just stand the probe in the hole with the suction line see if it rings off there. So we'll just place it there and let it sit and see if it rings off just, you know, because it's a good possibility. Come on, spin the wheel, Vanna. Will she go full speed? All right. Well, believe it or not, the old evaporator coil actually did pretty good. It looked like it was going to ring off, but it really didn't in any particular location. So after all these years, it still looks alright. Kind of nasty, but it's doing okay. So it's probably just, you know, it could even be like a little Schrader valve or something like that, passing a little gas. I will say this, if this is what your evaporator coil looks like at home, get a new one. 